Hello my viewers. Well, here I am. Uh, I'm in one of my girls rooms here. And as you see there's a bunk bed. And if you uh, live in Florida or other places where you'd normally have a ceiling fan, uh, you might know that having a bunk bed and regular paddle type of ceiling fan uh, doesn't really work very well because you don't want the kids heads to uh, get cut or anything like that with any of the paddles when it's turning. So what I did was is I got one of these fans here. It's a uh, uh, actually it works best at, as it for a two by two drop-in ceiling. Okay, but what I did was I built a frame. I've got I have to uh, caulk uh, around this here. And everything yet okay and then I'll uh, after I caulk all the cracks and things I'll go ahead and put some uh, paint on it right now I just got primer on it um, but the frame was not really all that difficult to build for this uh, this uh, you know normally like the other side of this fan normally fits on the uh, inside the ceiling, but I wasn't going to stick this in the ceiling. I've been too big of a hole. So uh, this entire fan uh, still fits inside the room and not in the ceiling. Um, I'm going to show how I built this uh, frame. And, uh, I'll, and then because this fan does not come with a light kit, of course, I put in these LEDs uh, right here. Um, in the ceiling, which I'll show uh, exactly what LEDs I used, but uh, I mean it really, really puts off a lot of light. Uh, works out, works out really well. It looks good, I think, and it'll look even better after I caulk and paint it. Uh, so here we go. All right, now the lights I bought at Lowe's, uh, this is the uh, brand I got and everything. And by the way, they are dimmable up to 10% of the light. So, um, and just make sure you get an LED type of uh, dimmer if you plan to dim these. The fan I got, <laughs> Zoe, really? Come on. <laughs> okay, the fan I got uh, I got on Amazon and it's a uh, an SPT um, motor a DC motor drop grid ceiling fan with a remote control uh, it really uh, this really does work well anyway this is what it looks like inside the box uh, now my wife told me she likes the look of the fan so she wants one for our room as well okay. uh, Here's a ceiling fan uh, that I uh, am going to be taking out of my room. It's a regular paddle fan like the one I took out of the uh, girls room that has the bunk bed. Um, it's uh, This is your standard 52 inch uh, paddle ceiling fan with a light kit. So, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's leaving. <laughs> I'm going to put it in another room. But I, I'm putting in uh, uh, one of the uh, drop ceiling type of fans, just like I did in the room with the bunk bed. Alright, now if you're interested in uh, building one of the frames uh, that I built, um, all I did was, is well, I uh, give you uh, kind of a list here of what I did. I've got... Uh, some uh, one by fours here. Uh, cut them. Got four of them right here to uh, 24 inches each. Okay. And then here I cut uh, two of the one by fours at 25 and a half inch. And here I've got two of the one by twos at 31 inches and then 
I got some one by twos here, uh, 25 and a half inches, and then the other is uh, two of them at 22 and a quarter inches. All right, so that's the pretty much materials that uh, I use to build the frame. Uh, you'll need a couple of uh, bar clamps um, as well um, and uh, uh, some uh, wood glue okay um, and then I guess some you know like brads or something but uh, I you know I don't know I mean I built so many things out of nothing but uh, wood glue and then uh, that uh, I, I feel comfortable not even using brads but I'll use brads like I did on the other one just because I don't know just because um, but I'll use the bar clamps to hold everything in place while the glue dries okay for the first step is I took the 31 by 1 by 4's and the 24 by 1 by 4's and put them together to make a square and this is the uh, part that will be glued together as it sits there um, to um, that will be what will actually go flush with the ceiling okay so this is glued now um, see it's just being held with glue nothing fancy yet um, and uh, Next is uh, where I set these pieces in. Um, let's see, this one, I think, well, yeah. Okay, yeah, this one here I'm going to set like right here, um, I think. And then this one will go like here. Now, again, you know, uh, I'm not doing any fancy 45 or so. You know, this might not really be the way you would put something together, but this is just the way I'm doing it because it's, I don't know, it's simple um, and it's, but yet it's functional. This can go here. Okay. And then this one will go here. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I've got to straighten everything out yet. But as you can see, this is where I'm at so far. Let me go ahead and glue and tack. And I'll get right back to you. Alright, now i got the uh, bar clamps hooked up to the frame. And I've just got to give the glue a little time to dry. And by the way, you, you know, like I was saying, I mean, this this can be done all sorts of different ways. You know, some people might not even want to do this in wood some people might want to use better wood or uh, maybe use some uh, uh, different ways of connecting uh, the wood might want to use some other tools that I did not use I mean everything I use so far is simple hand tools I even cut the wood with uh, just a standard uh, cross cut type of a uh, hand saw as you can see didn't even have to break out my fancy delta um, table saw or anything yet. Not even the, my chop saw. So, um, I mean, I could do all that. But you see, I'm trying to show how something like simple like this can be done uh, with, the, uh, with ease. Okay, I'm kind of representing, you might say, the, the uh, uh, homeowner hack or whatever you want to call them uh, that... A lot of people are they're not everybody's really talented in uh, uh, woodworking or anything like that so um, I, this is just done very simply okay and and it's gonna work uh, quite honestly I mean it's still it's gonna be just as functional as something that's fancy you'll see what I mean as time goes on here with this project all right this frame is uh, finished uh, drying enough that I can work with it again so what I'm going to do here 
is uh, I'm going to place this here, this uh, other frame on top of it. Okay, and everything should actually fit just right together if I did everything properly here. All right. <clears throat> now uh, I'm going to glue it. Okay, I am going to glue all the way around this uh, connection here where I'm going to you know, uh, meet this frame with the other piece, this other frame down here. But I'm also going to put some brads in there. And that's mainly because I don't have clamps to, that'll, you know, I don't have four clamps that'll hold all of uh, each side, each end here rather, uh, equally. So, I'm just going to use some brads to hold it down while it's being glued. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run a, say, a bead of glue. Oops, if I can get the glue out of the bottle. Ah, I don't know what it is, but this bottle here has been really something else, trying to get the glue out of it. But, all right, let's, here we go. All right, now I'm going to run a bead of glue here. Okay, uh, all the way around. In a mess, of course. Oh well, that's how it goes. Um, let's see, I'll set this piece right on there. Okay, I'm, next I'm going to take some brads and just put a few all the way around. I'll do that off camera. Okay. I went ahead and uh, put brads on the uh, bottom here, okay, and uh, just in a couple spots for right now. I couldn't put this together yet, okay, because otherwise I'd have a hard time putting the fan in place uh, into this box when the time came, once, once it's mounted on the ceiling. So right now, Okay, it's um, just have it fitted just right so that uh, uh, when the time comes I'll be able to put this together right here on the end. For now, now what I'm going to do though is uh, I'm going to take some sandpaper here, alright. <clears throat> And uh, I want to go around this whole thing and get like some of these little burrs or you know, uh, little uh, splinters and stuff like that. Okay, sand this whole thing down a little bit. I'll do the sanding off camera. I right, sanded all the rough edges and everything. So the next step. Um, I could pull this out, I guess, if I want. See, this is something that I'm, it's not going to go in there quite yet. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is, or, well, maybe I can put it back in there for that matter for now, just to make sure everything is, is uh, going to go in there, right? Because um, just to show you uh, the next step, Anyway, is uh, um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now the next step is where I actually have to uh, emulate a drop ceiling in a sense where um, this piece is going to sit 
right in there, okay, um, in here, and then this piece will do the same. Likewise, well, then I also have um, pieces for the other ends, okay, right here. Well, anyway, this is it's got to go to where uh, the uh, these one by twos are going to actually hold the ceiling fan in place and keep it from dropping out of the box okay so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, sand uh, some of these small one by twos first and then we'll place them in okay so now I've uh, went ahead and sanded the rough stuff off of these 1x2's so now I'm going to put a bead of uh, glue right on down this 1x4 uh, here so I can attach the 1x2 uh, in position here and make it pretty much flush. <clears throat> okay. Then what I'll do is uh, continue this all the way around, except for this one piece that's still that's loose that I have not um, glued in yet to the the rest of the box. So. Let's see now, and then of course this piece here will go uh, right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish the all these, and I'm put some brads in. And I'll come back. Okay, well here we have it so far. Um, about have the carpentry part of this done believe it or not anyway so see right now this is uh, not attached to this uh, the rest of it you know, so I can get the uh, fan in there once this box is mounted on the ceiling so then once I slide the, the fan in there then I can go ahead and place the place this piece back in there and uh, you know but instead uh, and I but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some screws in here at least right here I think just to hold this in place because um, I have to screw this onto the ceiling and everything and uh, I don't want it to uh, get racked or anything when I'm in the process of uh, doing that. So I'm going to put some couple of screws here and a couple of screws here over here so that I can uh, temporarily hold that into place. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to put some pilot holes in here. Um, because I don't want to crack the wood with the screws. I'm just using some like regular drywall screws. Good. And to make sure that uh, that hole is going to work um, as it's supposed to. So I'm going to put a screw in there. There we go. Perfect. And then um, 
Let's see, I'll do another hole, a little pilot hole here. Okay, I'll do the uh, same on the other side. So this is the way it looks. When you're looking at it from the ceiling, this is the way it looks, right? Now, here, you see, see these uh, ridges here? This is where the fan is going to actually set into uh, because this, like I said before, this is to emulate a 2x2 two two ceiling grid. Um, so, many of you probably know what that is, especially if you work in the commercial end of HVAC. Um, so there it is. Now, like I said before, um, you know, if you're not happy with my workmanship, I can completely understand that. Uh, I didn't build this uh, to um, impress the, the best uh, carpenters out there. This is to show that um, it can be done, okay? You know, that uh, you, know, you don't have to know a lot of carpentry to uh, build something like this. Uh, matter of fact, I can do better than this myself. I just opted uh, not to. Uh, for one, because um, the older I get, the lazier I get, I suppose. And The other is the fact that uh, uh, I wanted to show that you don't have to be fancy. Alright. Well now, by the way, I went ahead and I installed the lighting um, here in the ceiling. I got four lights. They are the LEDs that put out the same lumens as uh, a uh, incandescent incandescent uh, 60 watt would do. So anyway, here's the uh, frame um, finished, and I've already slid in the fan okay so so you can see um, right here I want to see uh, this fan slides in and out um, and I got the wires hooked up and also I can put the cover on now um, hmm there we go and then I can just you know put the screws in which I'll do here off camera it's hard to hold this camera and do much work at the same time so uh, there's that I'll show it again after I uh, button in the screws Okay, here we are, and let's see, here's the remote control. Let me get this to where you can see the remote. Here we go. For the, This is for the fan. Um, I will hit turn it on. And let's see, we'll get the, get it to focus here. Alright, it's on. And by using the remote control, I can increase the speed. Okay, you see, all the way up to nine. There it is. Um, it's a little, I don't know, maybe some people might say it's a little loud, but it does create kind of a white noise if 
uh, that's something you'd be interested in. So it's not bad. Um, and then let's see. But for the most part, though, if you don't need that much air, uh, just decrease the speed. Now let's see where it's reasonable. Uh, about four. Four is pretty darn quiet. And then I've got you know, these lights here. It's all on this rheostat back here. Okay. So I'll slide the uh, rheostat down and see it'll it'll dim way down to um, almost like a night light effect. Actually, uh, let's see. I'll dim it. Go ahead and dim it back up a bit, but yeah, this is this is real bright, and I mean this is this is like downtown kind of light bright. So most people don't really need this bright, so I'll dim it down, and it's uh, pretty reasonable.